Hey guys, Vancouver Comic Junkie back uh, after uh, a break. Um, I've been working really hard, guys, really hard. Uh, my work has been insane. Uh, family's been uh, off for the summer, so been seeing a little bit of them because apparently you should. I've been told. Um, been collecting comics. Uh, went on a little bit of a tour of uh, the prairies and all in Canada and uh, bought a bunch of stuff there, which I will do a video for at some point. Um, I am also going away next week, so I will place this up during that week. Um, but anyway, I am uh, really enjoying something that isn't comics. And you could probably tell by the title of the video that it's uh, sealed VHS tapes. I have fallen in love with sealed VHS tapes. Uh, a few months back, I picked up my first one. And uh, it brought back uh, uh, an incredible amount of uh, memories. I, I couldn't believe it. So exciting. It reminded me of being a little kid. I'm uh, old enough to remember my father bringing home a Betamax player in the early 80s and us watching uh, one movie in particular that I actually bought uh, as well, um, uh, Star Trek II, uh, but I don't have it yet, uh, which is driving me crazy uh, because I really love that movie. Star Trek II on beta. That was like the most exciting uh, holiday uh, event movie for me ever uh, as a kid to watch it in my own home. That was nuts. But the one thing about collecting uh, VHS tapes, which is crazy, is how complicated it can be. It's not just uh, go out and find a sealed one. Uh, there's a lot of um, rules uh, to find first printings, to uh, find the earliest uh things you want you know the earliest print uh, kind of like in comics is probably the best to buy um there might be better artwork on some of the covers of the of the later pressings which may give them some value uh to certain people i mean it's such an early times for collecting this stuff that i think that hasn't really shaken out yet but uh at this point my goal is to try and grab as many of the early 80s to mid well just the 80s basically uh movies i get my hands on sealed and uh as i've been slowly learning uh there's a lot of rules to the game um so uh why don't i start with a few of the tapes i bought um i haven't bought a lot compared to some of these uh ballers out there but i bought a few enough for my wife to notice uh, a lot of packages showing up at the front door uh that aren't shaped like comic books because she was just cool with comic books by the time this started so now we're going to start a whole new thing. But um, let's start with something cool. Um, this is uh, Paramount Pictures. So everyone knows this movie, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So uh, you can buy this fairly cheaply on eBay. You'll see a lot of them up for well under $100, uh, some $30 even. Um, but the problem is, is a lot of those are later pressings, uh, 89 uh, 94 i think there's nine there's a bunch um but this one's an actual like first pressing and the reason you can tell that is the watermarks and watermarks are really important guys um the watermarks are on the seal and on the back here it's got a cascading watermarks on the back paramount pictures and that tells us that it's uh early to mid 80s uh pressing of this of this uh, by paramount um at least that's what i've been told i know some of this can be uh uh, different with different uh, uh, printers and stuff like that. There is some uh, discrepancies. So uh, don't quote me on everything. Uh, this is just what I've learned so far. But if you uh, find a Paramount tape with cascading watermarks down the back, you're doing pretty good. At least you're getting an early print, if not the first print. And I think that's good enough at this stage. Um, in fact, I, I think a lot of tapes, some people don't even know what the first pressing is at this stage, but they will find out slowly but surely. And maybe you'll be that person who figures it out. But this was a, a, a classic for me to get. Uh, the thing is mint, mint, mint. I, I am, uh, there's not a, not a problem with it ever, but I just, I just think this is glorious. This is glorious. But the neat thing with Paramount is they have different, uh, um, different types of watermarks. So like in uh, 80, uh, 88 or so, they started doing a side watermark along the side and i think majority wise that's what they did from there on in uh i got a printing uh this would be a second printing of 48 hours from 88 i think it is uh yeah 88 and it's got the side watermark along here um i'm trying my hardest to get the 83 one with the back waterfall water watermark impossible 
for me to find. Uh, here's a cool one. Uh, it's um, uh, Mel Gibson's first movie, uh, like first big movie outside of uh, Mad Max, uh, Gallipoli. And uh, it's got the cascading watermarks in the back. It's an original. Uh, some of these movies, this is something that's an interesting way to collect because uh, a lot of people are uh, collecting like um, explorers and goonies and uh, a lot of back to the future. And you'll see Star Wars, that kind of stuff. Like the popular movies really are really expensive uh like some of these have gone for seventy five thousand. uh i want to say that goonies broke a hundred but i could be wrong uh but they are going for just lunatic money uh so uh, but the thing is is i think that's the uh, a lot of the younger investors are getting into it that way and picking their favorite movies as they should but what i'm interested in i'm a filmmaker that's what i do by trade uh, i have a lot of friends that are filmmakers and they're all slowly stepping into this world and we have a bit of money we're not billionaires by any stretch, but like we have money. I think a lot of us are going after the movies that are just generally really good. Um, Gallipoli being one of them. Uh, another one to live and die in L.A. Uh, at this point, uh, these are fairly reasonable priced uh, because everyone's going after those big boy titles. Uh, but as uh, stocks shrink, uh, the you know, these sealed tapes rare. Some of them are really rare. Um it just takes a few people to want it, and all of a sudden, it's getting expensive. So, but anyway, uh, back to Paramount. Uh, what else do we have? We have uh, a Beverly Hills Cop two. Uh, I have a Beverly Hills Cop one on the way. Unfortunately, I couldn't show it. Um, and this one has watermarks as well on the side. Uh, I've got this is interesting too. So this is another thing. So Crocodile Dundee was a big movie for me when I was a kid, and so I I just bought this like on my first day of buying. And it was like, it was $10. I'm thinking, that's amazing. $10 for Crocodile Dundee, 1986, sealed. And then I learned very quickly that it wasn't uh, a, an early cassette. And if you see this on the back, generally it's uh, it's not. Uh, with, uh, so if you'll see that this is an original. And on the back, you can see the difference. It's just simpler, a simpler background. Uh, also, another big tell uh, a 90s pressing is there's a recycling symbol on them and if you see a recycling symbol odds are uh it's it's a later printing so um anyway i was super stoked to finally get a an original crocodile dundee oh here's a neat one uh shane uh which is a great movie classic movie got this for nothing uh original printing probably what would this be 1980 and it's mint just beautiful mint uh i find that really cool i, I feel like i'm uh and i could be crazy and maybe i am but I feel like I'm collecting uh, Golden Age comics in the 70s and 60s. Like uh, they're still out there and uh, there's deals to be had. And it's kind of fun, you know, and I'm able to get some of the higher grade stuff early. And maybe if you get in on it, you can find some of that stuff yourself. Uh, what else do we got? We're going to move on to some other stuff here. So uh, those are just Paramount stuff. Um, another grouping that I've been interested in is CBS Fox. So CBS Fox... Uh, originally in the early eighties, they started doing like bigger box stuff and it's like, uh, they slide the tape out. I can't find any of that sealed, like nothing. And I, I, I really don't think a lot of people can, and that stuff goes for not so money. Uh, but in 1984, uh, CBS Fox seemed to release a ton of, uh, of, of movies in general. Um, and they're all kind some of them are, for, you know, first pressings, um, first time they've been on tape. It's a really great era to collect. And uh, what I found is uh, if you collect them, like I got this patent and it's got the uh, CBS Fox white um, on the back. They've got the white uh, CBS Fox uh, watermarks on the back, uh, which is really cool. And I think when they stretch down, it's a this could be a 1986 one. Uh, it is 1986. So that's 1986. Uh, here's a cabaret from 1984 and then the cbs fox in white goes across the back that seems to be a earlier and please correct me if i'm wrong any of you uh tape heads out there i'm sure i am a little wrong on some of the stuff but i'm pretty sure i'm right on that actually but uh there's the cbs fox if you can see that with all that bright light where is it? there you go maybe you can see it in there um towering inferno this is awesome you know these were you know mint beautiful right across the back uh, Rocky three, uh, my favorite Rocky movie next to Rocky four. Uh, I love Rocky four and Rocky three. Um, I, again, I think I got this for $30, uh, the watermarks across the back. 
There's a little bit of a tear on the seal, um, which I'm personally cool with. But I will say this. I learned this from uh, Danny on uh, Tales from the Flip Side. Apparently, if there's a sticker on the back of these on the on here, it means it may be a later pressing. So I don't know what that means uh, exactly for this, but it probably means it's like two years later. I think that's what he said. Okay, what else do we got here? Ah, here's something I think is really undervalued. Personally, uh, all these uh, James Bond titles. Most of these can be had for under $100. Well under $100. Sealed, beautiful, awesome. Uh, you know, CBS Fox across the back. I got Goldfinger. That was Diamonds Forever. Uh, this is my favorite um, uh, James Bond movie ever. It's Moonraker, and it is awesome, and it's got the best poster in the history of posters. I have a Spy Who Loves Me is coming. It's got Watermark. Um, I also have On Her Majesty's Secret Service, which I have a huge fan of as well. These are my favorite Bond movies. Um, and CBS Fox is really interesting for that. But uh, I do have something interesting here. So um, a movie I'm a huge fan of when I was a kid, it scared the living fuck out of me. Uh, this guy blew up and I just lost my mind. Another guy's head got ripped off and there was robots in it. It was enough to just melt my brain. Uh, was a movie called Saturn 3. So I went hunting for this and I found it. Saturn 3, CBS Fox, 1984. Uh, sorry, 1987 print. Uh, and I think this was the first print uh, before they, uh, but there's, I found out there was an earlier print and I went, well, shit, I'm never going to get that. Well, out of the blue, through uh, friends of friends and buying stuff and talking to people and asking a lot of questions, I came across this. It's the magnetic video, uh, which magnetic video is a very, very, very uh, difficult to get sealed tapes of. Um, uh, this would be 81 uh it's the original of saturn 3 and this is uh in my opinion my favorite tape i own in my collection so i'm super stoked about this maybe it not be yours but it's definitely mine i just uh i don't think i'm ever going to see this the interesting thing about this is that magnetic video was sold to cbs fox around this time and so it has cbs fox watermarks on the back which is kind of interesting so they used the old slip case uh or the, the the one they had in 1981 and then they just put cbs fox on the back so that, I think, is a really interesting tape. I'm very, very excited about this tape. Uh, what else do we have? Um, I showed Live Die LA. It's got uh, Best Drawn Video, watermarks on the back. Um, what else we got? Ooh, here's a good one. So uh, horror is huge. Uh, it's massive. Uh, if you can get sealed horror, you're doing pretty good, um, especially 80s stuff. It's uh, it's really quite pricey. And so I haven't really delved into it too deeply just simply because I I just uh, just been going after other stuff. And at some point I'm going to have to get a few of my horror tapes together. But what I did get was this Hills of Eyes Part Two. Uh, this is a fucked up movie. Um, and that's coming from a guy who makes fucked up movies. Uh, this movie is the Hills of Eyes Part Two. It has a sequence in it um, that is crazy where a dog actually has a dream. And it's like it, it's almost like the people who made it were on uh, acid, I guess. Yeah, it was bad, but fun all at the same time. I love this movie as a kid. I uh, I got this. It has a HBO video logo on it. It's the first slipcase. I know it came in a clamshell as well at the same time. So uh, I know a lot of people don't like collecting clamshells. So this is the best option for you if you like slipcases. So the clamshells are interesting because I don't think they're uh, as easy to get sealed, but also... Uh, I don't know if they were all watermarked, uh, especially those HBO video ones. Uh, here's another one I got. Uh, it isn't the first print, but it's the first slipcase print of Salem's Lot. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's an 80, 87 release with watermarks and everything. Um, I'm pretty happy about this. Salem's Lot, great Stephen King horror. And here's a really bizarre one. I saw this in the theater as a kid. Uh, and this is what's fun about uh, collecting VHS is... You kind of go down, uh, it's a, a nostalgia to its fullest. You know, everyone loves movies and everyone's got some rare, bizarre movie. This movie here, The Final Countdown, was a movie that uh, I saw in the theater with my father years ago. And I was like a little kid, like four or five. And it just stuck with me. It's one of those movies. And uh, I ended up getting this. And it's the 1983 Vestrom video with, with uh, watermarks down here, uh, print of it. And I'm pretty fucking excited about that. I may be the only person excited on earth about that, but uh, I'm okay with that. That's okay. Okay, what else we got? Okay, everyone loves Arnie, right? That's big. Predator's a big tape. You get a mint uh, first pressing of that. Goes for a few bucks. 
Um, I've been buying some of his other stuff that I can get my hands on. I got a total recall. Um, look out for uh, when you get stuff like this of this era, look out for a logo here that said instead of Carlico there, it says Avid. In fact, if you see the word Avid here ever, I don't recommend buying it. It's a later print. The tape's not as heavy. It's like a extended play tape. It's kind of crappy. They sold them in like really, you know, like discount places. In the uh, 90s, a lot of tapes went discount. Anyway, this is the original first print of this. Uh, they're really reasonably priced. I mean, anyone can buy this. It's uh, cheaper than most comic books, really. Uh, graded comics, anyway, I should say. Uh, and I think it's awesome to add to the collection. I've been picking up a lot of this kind of stuff. Really enjoying that. Uh, this is a weird one. Uh, so your stepmother's an alien. Uh, this is a bizarre one. I, I just got it for like 10 bucks. But it has a, a bizarre water. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's It's got RCA watermarks on the side here. And RCA does the same thing as Paramount. Uh, they also have watermarks on the back, and you prefer to get those. Uh, but they're for earlier releases. But this one's about right. Uh, this is just a movie I remember as a kid. Oh, here's a neat one. Uh, Milo and Otis. Uh, this is a fucked up movie. But uh, I remember loving it as a kid. So uh, I think I got this for $5. And I'm not unhappy about it. It's got the RCA uh, watermarks on the side. Spielberg. Everyone loves Spielberg. Bum, bum, bum. Jurassic Park. Uh, everyone loves Jurassic Park. So got Jurassic Park, watermarks on the side. That's all normal. Um, this is, um, it's Jurassic Park. And it's pretty reasonable. And I think it should be in every collection. Uh, right next to this motherfucker. Uh, E.T. Uh, E.T. is a good one. There's different variations of this one. There's like a, there's giveaway versions, all that. I kind of like, I'm like, when I collect comic books, I collect cover A's. I don't really go after all the other covers. Probably not the smartest move, but I just like to know I got the the initial one. This is that. Uh, the best part is it has the green uh, tape flap here, uh, which you know is awesome. And it's ET for God's sakes. It's like one of the most beloved movies of the '80s. And honestly, they made a lot of these, so it's not. It's like the spawn number one of the uh, VHS collecting world. Uh, it's fairly reasonably priced. Uh, it's probably never going to be a billion dollar thing, but oh, everyone wants one. So why not? Let's get one. Uh, Mortal Kombat. This is the Canadian version. Unfortunately, I don't have the American version, but I was able to get this uh, fairly, fairly reasonably priced. Uh, the only reason I know it's Canadian is because it says Alliance on the side. From what I am told, that means the Canadian. Um, I'm still happy with it. If you don't like it, well, fuck you. Um, talking sci-fi. I got an interesting one here. Uh, this is CBS Fox. Uh, I got a Star Wars number one. Or the, I guess this would be like fourth printing. I think it's fourth. Uh, the only reason I even have this is because I don't, I'm kind of cheap. Uh, I'm actually exceptionally cheap, uh, is because this thing is dirty as fuck. I guarantee if you were to open this and play it, it wouldn't play. Uh, it looks like it's been dripped in water and uh, it even has uh stains on the back like there's a little, little hole here and stuff but it has the original cbs fox uh i got it for i think 30 dollars uh it was a no-brainer i got it for the same price it cost when it came out um and i'm very happy to have it until i find a better copy because everyone needs to have star wars it's fucking star wars for god's sakes um and it just i had this exact tape when i was a kid literally this exact printing everything and uh I think that's pretty fucking cool. So uh, 1984, Star Wars. God. Yeah, so cool. Anyway, I uh, get a little misty there. What else do we got here? Oh, one of Daddy's favorite movies ever, Aliens. Everyone needs to own Aliens. This is a great one. Um, I This is an interesting one. I got it very reasonably priced. Very, very reasonably priced. Sealed. Uh, usually, if it's a first print, it has white. CBS watermarks across it, but I was told by another collector, and this I hope uh, I hope it's right uh, that this is a Canadian version of this tape, and maybe the actual first pressing of this tape ever. Um, I don't know if that's true, but I was told that. So um, I'm sure Mikey from Tapeheads or uh, LA Comic uh, uh, Kid. Uh, there's a bunch of the guys out there who know more than me. Um, I hope they can correct me on this uh, or not, or just say, yeah, you got the first pressing ever. Uh, either way, I am going to get an American. Uh, this is a, uh, this is a top five movie of all time. I think this should be in every collection. 
It is only going up in price at the moment, I'm noticing. But on occasion, if you go looking hard enough, you might be able to sneak one out here and there. So that was a cool one. Another really cool one is Outland. Um, so these came out. Warner Brothers released a lot of the early movies uh, on in clamshells, which I don't have one here. Do I? Oh, you do. Yeah. They kind of released them in these. These clamshells and uh, big box things. And a lot of people don't like collecting those. I think these are fucking amazing, but I, I only have a few. Um, but I love these things because when I was really little in, in uh, video stores, this was how you rented movies. But uh, saying that, a lot of the problem is a lot of the artwork was the shits. This one's particularly nice, but uh, the outline was terrible. It was just like Sean Connery's face in a three quarter going like that. It was just dumb. And uh, so this is kind of the first print if you want a slipcase. Uh, and again, super cheap, really reasonable to get. Um, I think like $25. I think Outland's a classic uh, sci-fi from the 80s and should be in every collection. Uh, here's another good one. Um, Batteries Not Included, a very Spielbergian movie. This is the first print. Uh, you can tell MCA, which is Universal, uh, the red logo. Um, I think they switched to a different logo a little later, and it uh, became kind of a 90s logo. Um, with this, we have the MCA watermarks on the side, which is in tune with that era 1987-ish yeah 1987 and uh i'm very happy with this uh this was a big uh i was a big fan of this movie as a kid and i don't know why more people don't love this movie and uh i highly recommend everyone go check it out it's uh the spielberg movie spielberg kind of didn't make um if you want to talk about classic movies we got home alone still a super cheap movie you can get it it's great everyone loves home alone unfortunately this one's got a tear uh, uh tear in the seal uh, again, I, I think I paid 10 bucks for it because, um, unfortunately, when you're buying stuff on eBay, uh, some of the guys selling uh, have no concept of these are collector items. They're just uh, they're thrift stores and stuff like that. So they'll just say sealed uh, or they'll just tear like this wasn't torn when I bought it, but I got it torn when I when I opened the box. So they could have torn it, thrown it in the box, but it was 10 bucks. So pff, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? OK, what am I going to look at next? Oh, here's a cool one. So. Uh, Metro Golden Mare is the uh, um, is a great old school uh, studio, and when they started out uh, doing tapes, they were doing big boxes. They're called, and they were like this, quite large, uh, as you can see next to a normal size tape. So they did this for VHS and Beta, and they're uh, so they slip out. But the only way to get the so they, they're sealed, and you can tell they're sealed if it's kind of a softer like plastic on it and um and there's a neat seal here right here i think you can see that right there yeah right there if that's sealed there you got yourself a sealed mga ua big box i adore these things i don't know why i just think they're the coolest they're my favorite uh, uh tapes to collect uh, they're still a lot of them are still fairly reasonably priced not all of them obviously but uh there's some really great movies that MGM uh, made. And uh, I picked up uh, Village of Dam, which, in my opinion, is one of the classic horror movies of all time. Another classic horror movie of all time by Robert Weiss, uh, The Haunting. Uh, got this uh, sealed beta. Uh, this was, uh, I was really happy to acquire this. Super happy. Yeah, I can't tell you enough. And honestly, like, they're not all going to be in great, like, this has got a ding on the top. These, there's just not a ton of these around. So I'm, I'm willing to pay for them, but uh, you can get deals because they're a little banged up sometimes. And I don't care uh, at this stage if they're banged up. I, I do like higher grade stuff, obviously, with my comics and things like that. But when it comes to tapes, um, I just want them. And uh, I know that's probably bad practice, but uh, uh, whatever. I'm collecting tapes. This is uh, my way, God damn it. I just want them. Uh, here's a neat one. Midnight Cowboy. Best picture of 1969. First X-rated movie ever released by a major studio, uh, John Schweisinger. This is a uh, uh, great cinema right here. Uh, I got this for 40 bucks, sealed. Unbelievable. And uh, I couldn't be happier. Tickled pink, they would say. Uh, this is a cool one. Uh, sealed Heaven's Gate, two tapes, which is cool, in beta, which uh, is pretty cool. Betas are interesting if you collect betas uh, because I, I like beta. Uh, they seem to 
uh, be an interest to everyone. Uh, they're almost equal to VHS. I think they're on the bigger stuff. They go for less. Uh, less people obviously collected them or bought them as when we were young. And um, so, the, you know, VHS is the one ever really wants. But these are great little, I just love these things. I collected a lot of beta and uh, and I will continue to do so. Uh, Brainstorm, another beta, MGA UA big box. I love this movie. I also love this cover. That cover is rad. And uh, one of my all time favorite movies ever, uh, Tony Scott's first movie, The Hunger. Uh, the Hunger is a great movie, vampire movie. David Bowie, uh, all sealed. Oh man, I was so happy to get this. This is one of the ones I wanted when I first, like, first went. Man, I think I'm going to start doing this shit. Um, I wanted this in my collection, and I got it within two months. It just kind of popped up one day, and I was able to make a deal. And well, now it's mine. I'm really happy about this. I love this VHS collector. I get this a lot on IG, uh, Vancouver Comic Chunky. I, I, I've been getting a lot of, of messages from people saying, uh, here, are you dropping out of comics? I'm like, no. Why would I drop out of comics? I love comics. But for some reason, some people think that if you collect one thing, you can't collect another thing. So anyway, I collect two things now. Well, actually, I collect a few things. But uh, this would be my number two, uh, VHS and beta. So uh, to all you haters, fuck you. Um, let's talk about this one. So. We talked about this earlier. This is the uh, Warner Brothers clamshells. Uh, unfortunately, this one's been opened. The only way to get these sealed, they'll have a seal sticker right here. And as you can see there, if you look really closely, uh, I don't know if my camera's picking that up. When they get opened, they go into a, a like a boxy uh, symbol, uh, like it's been the seal's been opened. But if it's fully sealed, you got yourself a sealed tape. Uh, I would like nothing more than to have a full set of these clamshells sealed. That would be my uh, happy place in the world. Um, but I don't know if that's even possible. I'm sure it is. I'm sure there's some lunatic out there that's done it. But uh, I've yet to meet them. And uh, I really do. If you are that lunatic, please contact me at IG at Vancouver Comic Junkie because I'd like to talk about you, about your stuff. Uh, what else do we got here? We've got ooh, everyone loves RoboCop. Dun, dun, dun. Robocock's awesome. I, I, I think you can get these on a good day in the 50 to 75 range. Sealed, first print. Um, I think everyone should have this in their collection. Um, right up there with Aliens and Predator. It's just of that era. It's really, really good to have. I also picked up uh, Robocop 2 and 3, which were significantly cheaper. Um, probably says a lot about the movies, but it was yeah, yeah, now I have a whole set. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm not happy about how how much space these take up, but you know, you can't win them all. What else do we got? Oh, one of my all-time favorite movies of that same era is The Abyss. Uh, this is the first print um with the CBS Fox logo on the back. Um, yeah, I'm really happy about this. <laughs> uh 1990, it's uh these also come in uh, Fox Video logo. So CBS Fox changed the Fox Video in around 1990, around this exact same era. So a lot of these will have Fox Video on them as well. Um, but uh, not this one. I'm really happy with this. Uh, the, uh, I just love all James Cameron's movies, even Titanic. Um, what else do we got? Ooh, here's a cool one. So this is an MCU release of uh, Dracula, the remake. Uh, this is the 1985 print. Uh, these are super cheap. Uh, I just have memories of this movie scaring the living shit out of me. So here I am owning a sealed copy. Ooh, Die Hard. Everyone loves Die Hard. <clears throat> right there, Die Hard. Uh, first print, CBS Fox. I don't have the white yet, but I have one on the way. Uh, I, I learned that uh, if it says CBS Fox on it, it doesn't mean it's the first print. It's probably like a second print. So you need the white CBS Fox here, which... Uh, Hold your horses, everyone. One's on the way to my house. So that's that's happening. I got uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the 89. Yeah, uh, it's 89 or 90. Yeah, with the water marks on the side. Uh, this one can be had for very cheap. This is a $20 tape all day long. And one I really think everyone should have because it's a truly great movie. Um, this is a weird one. I don't know. Oh, wait, this came with something else. Uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, old MCA box, uh, watermarks on the side. I think it's like an 85, 86 release. 
Uh, this was a popular movie back in the 70s. I don't like this movie. Uh, it just wasn't for me. I don't even know why I own it, but here I am owning it. I, it came with somebody threw it in with a batch of other tapes I bought. Saying that, it's still cool that this tape exists in this condition. I don't know. It's just I, I'm still getting over that, I guess. Hmm. Here's it. Oh, yeah, we're talking about the Avid thing. So uh, Rambo 3, which I think everyone should own. So you'll see the difference. It says Avid right there. And you'll see the tape weight is radically different. It's crazy. And also the back covers look different. But make sure you don't see that Avid right there. Avid, Avid, Avid. No, no. Just keep repeating that. Uh, what else we got here? We've got... Oh, this is a good one. Uh, ooh, I don't know. No, yeah, we'll look at this one. Ford Apache of the Bronx, uh, Paul Newman. Uh, it's a Vestron video, I think. Yeah, Vestron video, uh, 1982. Uh, it's in beautiful shape. I'm really happy with it. Um, I love this movie. It's a great movie. And again, um, I do believe that just good movies in general, as collectors start collecting and start discovering niches and all that kind of stuff, you're going to see these little little movies that you may not have heard of uh, today start uh, getting more expensive just simply because uh, the collector base will get more informed. And I'm, I'm hoping uh, this one may, may not be one of those ones. It's a good movie, but it's not great. But uh, there are a lot of movies like that, like the Coen Brother movies, that sort of thing. So uh, this is a movie that, uh, that falls into that last category I was talking about, uh, Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, this has the RCA back watermarks, the waterfall water, watermarks in the back. It's an early uh, print. Uh, I think it's an 85. Uh, I'm quite happy double tape. Uh, yeah. If I was to pop this in, it's uh, it would play in full screen, not widescreen. And this is a movie that needs to be seen in widescreen, unfortunately. Uh, but it does. And I'm, I'm really happy to have this because it's such a cool movie. What else do I have? Oh, I have. This is a cool one. This is a very, this is a beta tape. Look how cute and cuddly this is. It's so so tiny, right? Uh, this is a beta tape in a slipcase. Uh, this is the Changeling with George C. Scott. Uh, I think it was uh, Peter Medic directed it. Anyway, this was a Canadian movie. Uh, I'm a Canadian. I remember as a kid seeing this. It's scaring the living shit out of me. Uh, there's this crazy seance, seance scene in it that just ruined my my life. But uh, I was able to get a nice copy of this. Uh, it does have a bit of a tear on the seal in the back, unfortunately. But it's got its, uh, you know, Vestron video, uh, watermarks, everything. I'm very happy with it. Very happy with it. I, I know this isn't exactly an easy tape to find in VHS or beta. Uh, what else do I have? I don't have a lot more to show uh, simply because they're in another part of the house. I'm not prepared. Sorry. Uh, what else? Oh, here's some cool ones. Uh, the last stack. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Running Man. These are cheap. I recommend you get it. They're cheap. Anyway, uh, live uh, Vestron and live did it. I think this is a lot. Yeah, live gave the watermarks on this. Uh, what else we got here? Ooh, this is one of my favorites too. Uh, Cat People. Um, Paul Schrader. Really, really cool movie. Love this movie. Big fan. Check it out. Uh, these go for pretty good money. Uh, what I mean by that, I think between $50 and $100. Uh, it, I guess for a new generation, it's a fairly unknown movie, but it's a very stylistically very cool movie. And uh, it's got great box art. Uh, well, one of my all-time favorites, Stand By Me. Love this movie. I watched it with my son recently. He's 12 years old. Uh, it's now his favorite movie. He just loves this movie, too. Uh, this one is uh, a great film, and I couldn't recommend it enough. Uh, this is a first print with watermarks in the back. I'm really happy about it. So, uh, and our final, our final movie of the day uh, is something that is going to destroy me financially, uh, but I don't care because uh, that's how I roll. Uh, but my wife might, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, it is Friday 13th, part eight, Jason takes Manhattan. So I was able to grab this fairly cheaply. Uh, it's the, it's a first print, pretty happy about it. Got water, this nice watermarks. It's beautiful. I love it. The problem is, is that when I was a kid, Friday Thirteenth and Halloween were my favorite movies of all time. Like truly, truly massive movies to me. Uh, I don't know why they just were. I just loved horror. And the problem is, is that I'm not the only one who feels that way. So the 
first few movies in first print go for ridiculous amounts of money, like car payments, more than car payments, full on cars. They're crazy expensive. So um, I will own them. It's just going to take some time. So that's my uh, that's my big thing. So um, what I got to say about this, uh, collecting VHS has been truly fun. Uh, it's it can get expensive if you don't know what you're looking for. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I probably bought 25 cheap tapes, uh, like ten dollars to twenty dollar tapes that were the wrong tape over time, um, and I uh, I regret that, but I learned I learned a lot. So I just looked at it as like a paying for an education. Um, but hopefully, videos like this and some other people will put some videos out to help educate a bit more. I know I'm not the greatest teacher, but uh, as time goes on, I'll do a few more of these videos and get a little bit more specific and talk with some other people about it. And um, yeah, so that's me collecting VHS tapes. And I got to tell you, um, there's a lot more to come. Yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting. So and comics too. a lot more comics to come. I uh, I really haven't done a lot of videos lately. And I've, uh, you know, I've gotten a lot of boxes back from CGC. So uh, we're gonna have to do that too. So, but I apologize for being gone so long. It's just been, um, you know, it's been busy. It's been busy. I got a life. So, uh, I hope you all have a good day and, uh, uh, you know, collect VHS and beta. They're fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>